What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again. First and foremost, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying safe and sanitized. Also, I'm here with my husband. If you use too much sanitization, it probably stops working anyways. <laughs> did, you, did you guys grow up in that era? We're here to try to fix some of the misconceptions that you've had, not about microorganisms today, but about crustaceans. Crabs. Not your auntie with Crab. the stuff on her back. Crab people. Wait, did we decide if it was Crab like this people. or like this? I'm gonna do it like this because this is the way you can see my new ring if you, you know, haven't already seen it. By you the can way. tell that I'm not committed because I don't even remember which side I was on, but I remember I had an opinion. My crabs <laughs> are up there as far as my top favorite animals of yes, all time. Right. It's like frogs, crabs, dogs are definitely on the list as well. Frogs and crabs, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. So I'm just saying. Hedgehogs. Once I figured out the hedgehogs can be upset and they just don't ever <laughs> stop being upset, I was always scared to buy one. <laughs> Anywho, since today we are here to watch some Lindsay Nicole. You guys know that I love Lindsay Nicole, and you guys also know that my husband decided to watch a Lindsay Nicole without me. I tried to but I can't punish him because he did this. Yeah. So I tried to have like a little aside with some Lindsay Nicole. Mm -hmm. My wife was there waiting, like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. wagging her feet. Tried to sneak Stop off. That. The title of this one is Crabs That She Thinks We Will Like. And the joke's on her. I like all crabs. So Except the genital ones. No my Alright. I'm super excited to see what this video has in store for us. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. You become a crab, but you cannot give precise answers. Okay. Did you do it? Yes. Perhaps. Oh. <laughs> you already know what the f is up. It's time for craps. My God! Okay, it's happening. Everyone likes craps. Yes. Everyone wants to be a crab. Right. At least on this channel, you guys are nuts about crabs. <laughs> crabs are the obvious ideal form. Unless you're Tirzu and then you're a crab hater. He is a crab hater. And people were mad at us for being mad at him that he hated crab. <laughs> well, factually, that's what you're here for. It's not. I came here for good news. That's what I demand. <laughs> so today I'm going to introduce you to some cool crabs I think that you will like. I'm ready. With more and more emphasis on the think as we go along, because the crabs tend to get more heinous as the video goes on. By the end of it, I genuinely don't know if you will even stand to look at them, but I'm going to try it out anyway. All so right. Here are some crabs Crap. I think that you will like. Let's get the general information out of the way. I will not be starting off by defining what a crab is. Thank if you don't you. know why, go watch this video because I cannot stand to re-explain the pandemonium that is the definition of a crab. Okay. In the simplest words possible, there are true crabs, mm -hmm. there are false crabs mm -hmm. that look like true crabs and we call crabs, and there are animals that are not true crabs, don't look like crabs, and are still called crab. Right. The crab form is just desirable, which is why crustaceans everywhere have opted in to carcinization, carcinization. the process of evolving a crab form. The the true crabs, in the group called Brachyura, founded the original crab shape about 200 million years ago. Yeah. Unlike the pattern of every designer brand we know today, the knockoffs started popping up <clears throat> shortly after. Mostly in Brachyura's sister group, Animura, also known as the false crabs. Okay. Most of the crabs in today's video are true, honest crabs, but there is one false crab worth mentioning. So, let's start off with the true crabs. The first ones on our lineup today like to get dressed up in fancy, uh -huh. the decorator crab, which wow. is not just one crab, but describes an assortment of species that use various items to decorate their bodies. Yeah. They're covered in these bristles called seed that kind of function like Velcro. They use their pinchers to grab some sort of material and then rub the material yeah, all over the seed to really get attached, getting hooked onto it or tangled in it or impaled by it. Depends on the like Velcro. Yeah, like a little Velcro thing. That's so cute. Yeah. Type of seedy. Sometimes the material doesn't stick quickly enough mm -hmm. to their liking, so the crabs will use their mouths to change the shape of it. Kind of imagine it like a little rodent. Oh. <laughs> 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 so stupid. <laughs> Whatever, till it fits all nice in the seat. Decorator crabs are found in warm, shallow waters all over the world, where marine life is generally hustling and bustling. So. Yeah, so they just spend most of the day just decorating. Mm -hmm. Just running around eating and being like, that would look good on me. Right. And they just put it on. Yeah. Imagine there's lots of material in those environments to decorate themselves with, like sponge, algae, seaweed, pieces of urchin or coral, tiny rocks, shells, fucking chips of concrete, Jesus. anything, really. They're not picky. They're like maximalist collectors, mm. like ah. hoarders, but artsy. This behavior is not just for fun, though, and you can probably guess the two main reasons why Camouflage. they do it. Yes. Danger. Camouflage and, and defense against yeah, predators. Danger. Covering yourself in items from your environment naturally helps you blend into your environment mm, but also and stay hidden from plain view. Some species just violence. get naturally covered in stuff as they're crawling around, which I guess right. some might just consider a dirty crab 
rather than a decorator crab a food crap. But sometimes the stuff they use to decorate with is toxic, which is the best case scenario for them. Like okay. a piece of anemone or other animal with stingers. They can essentially cover themselves in shields of poison, That's which is dope. fucking sick. It makes a predator spit them right out. Decorating also helps the crab conduct ambush attacks. A motionless, dirty crab can easily be mistaken for a piece of reef and then boom, snatch a bitch right up. Since this is a behavior, it would be pretty much impossible to figure out when this started happening, but scientists do have a good idea of why the behavior evolved. It seems to be linked to their feeding behavior, which also involves finding the materials they deem suitable. It's thought that early decorator crabs attach material to their CD with the intention of eating it later. Right, already a smart as storage. Video, but also came with the added benefit of camouflage. And like when my husband lets food fall into his beard. Yeah, I just like pick it out like this later. I like open it up and then like remove it. Ew, ew, ew that's so disgusting. Little crumbs, you know? Oh, also, man. like people who let food build up in their braces and don't brush their teeth. Ah, uh, yeah, they use their tongue <laughs> to pick it out when they get hungry. <laughs> like little squirrels. What a great <laughs> idea. Did you just snort? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so funny. Instant advantage over their competitors, since they likely stayed hidden from predators more effectively, allowing them to survive long enough to pass on their genes at a higher rate for the next generation. Yeah. But this eventually turned into attaching material for camouflage alone instead of stored food. But some decorator crabs do still oh, eat their decorations from metal. time to time. Just Hopefully not the concrete, unless that is their next ideal form. Mm. The next crab on this lineup is a specific type of decorator crab called the arrowhead crab or arrow crab. They kind of look like they're made out of toothpicks. Yeah. And I love it. They're found in shallow water. It's a pokey. looks like a spider. I don't like it. Never mind. Atlantic Ocean from North Carolina mm. to I was Brazil. surprised you They've been like known that. to live in groups of up to six individuals, which is cool. That is she a just cool put a package of toothpicks. Crap. And that's all there really is to them. Just cool toothpick looking crab. So. Next. Okay. So the next one, I don't know if it could be considered a decorator crab because they hold stuff in their pinchers rather than attaching stuff to their CD, but I'm keeping them in the same general group for the sake of organization. I think you will like them because they are cute, but also feisty. Another true like crab, me. a pom-pom crab, also known as Hawaiian nice. boxer crabs, because they carry around venomous sea anemones as boxing yeah, gloves. Yeah, punch people Despite that with. name, they don't actually use the sea anemones as boxing gloves. Aww. They mostly just wave them around like cheerleaders with menacing pom poms <laughs> Scientists aren't too sure why they don't actually box with them, because it seems like a reasonable thing to do. They <laughs> witness pom-pom crabs getting into little duels, but it's mostly just threat displays rather than an actual respectable Why fight. Yeah, it's essentially gotta... all the shit talking that leads up to the boxing match yeah. and then no boxing match. It just ends. But, oh, I remember this. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you would think they pick it out. It takes so much time picking out the perfect pom-pom for the sake. Right. But they don't want to ruin it. Right, yeah. They, these uh, crabs are very aesthetic. If you've not gotten that <laughs> from the other crab species, they're like, I don't want to ruin mine. You don't want to ruin yours. Let's think this through. Exactly. How much do you really hate me, Steven? Exactly. It's a big ocean, you know? Like, I dislike a lot of people, but do I dislike them enough to ruin my car with hitting them? Exactly. The answer is yes. Exactly. My wife's insane. But other people that are more sane drive away. <laughs> it might be because the anemones are so toxic that a slip of the wrist might lead to oh, the harm of both individuals. Or maybe it. the anemones, which by the way are typically species Triactus producta, are non-toxic to the crabs, so there's no point in using them. Right, it's just Either way, it helps in some scenarios, which is why they do it, such as wading off predators while moving around while they're eating. That's reason enough right there. They've essentially got an AR-15 strapped to their chest, <laughs> practicing their right to open carry at the local Chipotle. Insane behavior. Yes, but there is absolutely no one that is going to fuck with them. So, success. I love All right, it. the next couple crabs on the list, I'm going to be honest, I don't know if you're going to like them. And it gets more questionable as we go along. So, Are just more keep that in mind. Crabs? I like them because they're maniacs. So, I think that you will like them, hence the reason why they're in the video. But just a little disclaimer. Okay, so this mm -hmm. next one, I think. I hope that you will like is the Japanese mm. spider crab. I Perhaps. like it. Not so I fucking like big. They it. are the largest crab, yeah! the largest arthropod alive Holy that we crap. know. But the largest getting to 12 oh and a half feet across. Goodness. Legs included in that, of course. Some of the arthropods we're about to get into in the history of life series are often cited as the biggest of all time, but I've only seen numbers between like eight to 10 feet. Right. So am I crazy or does that make the Japanese spider crab the biggest arthropod of all time that we know? Of? I guess it depends on if you think the legs have a right to count that much. But right. anyway, Japanese spider crabs tend to be in deeper waters 
from Japan all the way down to Taiwan. They're found at depths of up to no. 2,000 feet below the surface of the ocean. Mm. That makes but sense. They come up to shallower waters during mating season. And by the way, they're also true crabs. Now you might be thinking, I'm not sold. This creature seems godforsaken. I don't yes. see how I could possibly like this. <laughs> well, how about this? They're also decorator crabs. The juveniles decorate. That's pretty cute. Yeah? Okay. The adults don't have mm. to decorate because they're fucking massive, so <laughs> their size does enough. But hey, decorators Speak as kids that, is better than no decoration oh at all. God. Keep it there. In my book. I think that's fucking cute. They also move really slow. Oh they no. literally just hang out, oh scavenging God. for remains of dead animals oh and God. plant matter that grows on their arms that they scrape off and eat, which probably lost you there. Yeah. I loved every part of that. He's like, he's like moving around. He's like, literally what we talked about. He's like, I'll just eat it. I don't fucking care. It's in my, it's in my fucking beard. Oh my I don't God. feel like walking to the kitchen. Eat I it. Did not like they that. They scrape dead matter off their arms I, and eat it. I did not. Gotta like stay clean. That. Big hole clean. Not boy. a fan of that. Yeah. They can live up to a hundred years old. Good that's pretty sick. Lord. Stuff uh, of right. nightmares. If you don't like them, that's fine. But I will need you to definitely strap in for this next one. Matter of okay. fact, are, double strap are you in. The only in? false crab on our list today. The coconut. Yeah, crab, the coconut crab. Crab. They're great. crab lineage. Here's why. They are thieves. They are uncomfortably large and do things you wouldn't like them to given their size. They are circumstantially poisonous yep. and their diet is asinine. Let me break it down. <laughs> As you can see, they live on lit exclusively. Adults will drown in the ocean. <laughs> yes, this crab will drown in the ocean. They <laughs> yes, have a respiratory system that is built exclusively for air, which is fine on its own, I guess. You know, a crab exclusively living on an, on an air breathing crab is fine, but they get to like three feet long and hold the record for the heaviest and largest living terrestrial invertebrate that we know. That's yeah. insane. That, combined with the fact that their life is on land makes me a little bit uncomfortable, to be honest. Just feels like something that went wrong, you know? <laughs> like that shouldn't have happened. Coconut crabs aren't born on land though. After two coconut crabs mate, the females release the eggs into the water. Even though the adults don't what live the in water, they're still generally near it. On the east coast of parts of Africa and some surrounding islands in the Indo-Pacific. When the eggs hatch in the water, the larvae spread out all over logs and floating coconuts for like four to six weeks. Then they go huh. into their next stage, which is like a shrimp-like stage. They look like shrimp. They live in the that, seabed that for a while. A then they start moving towards the shore, spend some time in the high tide zone, and then go to land, where they live for up to 60 years. Jesus! Wow. Yeah, six, zero. As adults, they dig these insane burrows underneath the roots of coconut trees and line the burrows with husks of coconuts. That's so, super cool. As you would cool. guess from what their name suggests, the coconut crab eats. Coconuts, right. specifically yes. young green coconuts, which means, yes, they scale trees. That coconuts. is so this cool. This three foot long crap yeah. has legs like claws. They used to fucking free solo up a tree. Rip. Like Zafina. Yes. They're like Zafina. No, 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 Then the big claw comes yes. out. Yes. Coconuts. Rip open a young coconut and oh, yeah. eat the flesh Fuck inside. Yeah. Do you know what kind of strength it takes to open up a coconut? Have you ever tried to rip open a coconut? Their pinchers are absolute weapons. It's In 2016, happening. scientists tested a ton of crabs to see what the strength of their pinchers was. Found out they have a maximum pinch force of over 1,700 newtons. I don't know what that means. For comparison, our bite force is like max 1300 newtons. Coconut crabs also have the strength okay. to lift a 10 year old if they wanted to. And they've been known to crush the fingers what? of people who handle them in a way they don't like, which valid. Yeah, if you were to sense. classify crabs as different states, the coconut crab would definitely be Florida because not only do they eat young coconuts, they've also been known to eat various fallen fruits, nuts, but also rats, yeah! chickens, seabirds, other crabs, and really anything the they music. can get their big meaty claws around. They've been seen climbing <laughs> trees to hunt birds, dude. A crab climbing a tree to attack and eat a bird. Yeah. Depending on the ecosystem, they can function as the apex predator, which is, that shouldn't be allowed. This mm. reputation has led to a very unusual coconut crab conspiracy. The CCC, if you will. Uh, Amelia Earhart. The reason why Amelia Earhart was never found is because she was eaten Amelia by Earhart. coconut crabs. But what is not a conspiracy is the fact that they are thieves. Coconut crabs are also known as robber crabs. <laughs> they have been seen stealing various items like cookware, clothes, and cutlery. Why? They have been seen fighting over a watch from a pile of clothes. And one was seen dragging a bottle of whiskey behind it, which is just obvious sewer rat behavior. And finally, sewer I mentioned rat. that they are circumstantially poisonous. They're not poisonous on their own, but something about their diet makes them poisonous on occasion. Cool. It's thought to be the sea mango that has this effect, but there have been cases of coconut crap poisoning. Different wow. groups eat the coconut crap. I was gonna ask if they were edible. They sound super they, edible. I, I feel like if I saw a fucking huge 10 pound crab, that's potentially dinner. Right, like that's food right I might there. not even ask. <laughs> His eyesight's good. He can see me coming. This is a fair fight. Right. 
consider them an aphrodisiac, while others oh. consider them a bad luck charm that can lead to serious illness and even death. Damn. Both reputations may be due to poison. Who's to say, really? Regardless, coconut crepes are from the trenches, and for that reason, I think they belong on this list. Agreed. Well, let me know what you think, and also let I me agree. know if you want me to make a part two, because I have more crabs that I could shoot. All right, on to the questions. If you weren't so yeah. dead set on cramming uh. evolutionary theory down our throats, I'd be more inclined to watch your content. Oh. <laughs> All right. She put the laughing meme. <laughs> The whole meme. Are you serious? From a scientific point of view, what is your idea of souls and how humans are different from other species in the way that only we have a soul? This is definitely more of a philosophical question. Yeah, kind this of is not a science what? question. Stick to science questions. You're making me mad. Kind of starts with what you would count as a soul. Like if you consider consciousness an indicator of a soul, then humans are not the only animals right. with souls. There are plenty of books with research on studying consciousness in different animals and whether or not they can, you know, recognize themselves in a mirror. Mm -hmm. I don't have the one that I'm reading right now. I packed it up because I'm moving. But this is kind of a tricky question to answer because understanding like measuring consciousness is really difficult and using these, you know, human made parameters to figure out if an animal is conscious is not, it's, it's just really biased. And right. so obviously right now we're in a time of scientific discovery that we're realizing that a lot of previous understandings mm -hmm. of the level of intelligence of animals, fuck, why did I choose this one? This one's <laughs> really philosophical. Yeah. <clears throat> no matter what we do when we study other species, we're gonna be biased in our understanding of the species because we just can't possibly separate ourselves from the human experience. Good so answer. our understanding of what animals have a, a soul, i.e. consciousness, is just gonna be really flawed, I think for a very long time. And as time goes on, we're gonna continue to learn that a lot of animals are a lot more advanced than we gave them credit for. Right. And that's already happening. We used to think that all species of snakes were solitary and they didn't like interacting with other snakes, but it turns out garter snakes live in groups and have like actual like friend groups and Aww. look for each other and find each other when they get separated. I knew snakes were cute and perfect. That made me happy. It's like an innate radar like snake dar you know, like yeah i like them i vibe with them <laughs> starting to have fucking conversations with whales using ai yep. i think consciousness is going to be expressed in a variety of ways that we just don't know how to interpret right now or maybe mm -hmm. ever who knows but i think the study of that is really interesting and i've been getting into some books about it um i've been reading one for a while i've only read a couple chapters um i think it's consciousness by susan blackmore so if you want to read more about it check that out i think chapter 10 specifically talks about consciousness and other animals so yeah i, feel I like would that's say a fair um, answer to humans the question. are not as unique as we think i think that the question uses a very cheap trick to like sidestep science mm -hmm. to say soul specifically. It, it is a dog whistle for people who basically do not believe that other animals have souls. Right. And they're not going to debate it. It's a theological, you know, parameter that they've just decided exists and yeah. they will not talk about otherwise. And they use that to like sidestep the real conversation about really thinking about what even a soul is. Exactly. I have one and they don't. And what about that part, right? You have to open yourself up to the possibility whenever you talk about scientific study, you have to think about what you're asking. If you're asking for a scientific answer, you have to put on your scientific brain. And that's exactly what she's talking about, about thinking about animals outside of your perspective. Right. You know? You, you can't build a human maze and be like, see, this worm is so dumb, it can't even see. <laughs> Meanwhile, if we shoved you underground, you would die. Right? The worm's judging you, like, he doesn't even eat shit. Right. What's wrong with this guy? That was a good time. I liked most of those crabs. Even the little, the, the, yeah. The spider crab, I don't like the spider crab itself, but I like the babies, which is funny because that's how I feel about people too. You see all my little crab poses? Apparently all these things could be crabs potentially. I don't think crabs Because they're like weird. That. They're weird little <laughs> crab guys, you know? Dude, I like the freaking huge crabs. 
Uh, the bigger the crab, the more I like them, apparently. I like, apparently, fat crabs, because I like the ah. coconut crab, but I don't like the skinny, spindly, spidery-looking I ones. do feel like if you saw the coconut crab in real life, you'd be horrified. <laughs> like, I feel like you're underestimating. I just immediately punt it, like, get out right. of here. It is a large baby. It's 10 pounds. You yeah. could not punt it. I could punt it. You could not kick 10 pounds. If I could punt a baby, I could punt a but crab. But you can't punt a baby either. That's I, who a, can't? Who said I can't? This is part of the... Th those fake memory things that go viral every couple of weeks, you know? Uh -huh. how, how, who was the secret member of the Scooby-Doo squad we all forgot about as kids? Yeah. You decided you could punt babies and then made it a fact in your I head. I can for sure punt a baby. You've now, been telling the lies so long. I can't punt a baby far. Right? The baby's not gonna go, it's not gonna be like the Super Bowl, right? When he kicks the ball and it goes through the thing and he gets the field goal and that one guy in the Super Bowl set the record and then in the same game, the guy from the other team beat his record and that shit would piss me the fuck off. But the point is- How much energy drink have you had? <laughs> is it a lot? <laughs> That's beside the point. The point is, I can't punt a baby mm -hmm. 50 plus yards, but he's getting some lift and he's getting some distance. I will go on the record and say, a 10 pound crab is not going anywhere if you kick it. The only place you're going is the hospital. I think with the right form and determination, sure. I could do it. I rest my case. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, please bring me back for more crab content. I will bring you back for more crab content. Um, if you loved this video, you're going to love the next one. We're doing more Lindsay Nicole on Chavez's channel. Damn and right. this one is about murdering dinosaurs. Hell yeah. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> See you there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave your reaction request recommendations down in the comments below. Other than that, peace out, hope biscuits. It's skin lit. <laughs>